As Yennefer of Vengerberg told it, there had been a magic explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophonet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the that much difficulty. I have begun my uh, ascent towards Gertrude over there. So, um, you can see how actually really nice this track up there is. And we might as well come across a few people, I think. If they would let me pass, thank you. And this is one of, this is the first of many bridges that we need to cross to uh, get to over there. I think this is a really nice location, very, very incredibly done. Very impressive also. And now we have a tunnel through the mountain. And when we pass through that one, we'll be right where we need to be at Care Troll the Keep. There we go, bridge to Care Troll. The. Seems to be a uh, dispute over there with Yennefer. Bran was a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's troubles very much derive from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. Okay. Um. Let's introduce ourselves. A Witcher. Berna, Queen of Skellige. I'm glad we've met. But you must forgive me. Judy calls. Okay. I can see you chose your own outfit. You know, of course, that together we look about as good as lace frills on a battle axe. Everyone's got their style. Wait a minute. I'm dressed occasionally. For the occasion, I mean. <sighs> Don't like funerals. Don't like feasts. I know. You also dislike underdone meat and being teleported. But sometimes we must overcome our disgusts and prevail. Yeah, you're right. Let's find Crash. We should mingle before they all get drunk. Krach. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him, we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all evening? Of course we are. I plan to tell you what I think. Okay then. So Berna was the wife of uh, King Bran. So, what have you brought for the farewell feast? Brad. And she's thinking about her son being the next successor. Geralt, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Hmm? Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. Hmm. Must say it suits you. Thank you. you drink last night too. And Berna also got away from being burned alive alongside her husband. Sir. Greetings, Arnvald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. Um, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king farewell. They come to see the claimants to the crown. We wanted to talk to Croc on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Ceres. Interesting. Follow me, please. So, cementing the fact that we know Kroch. I asked them to. Wanted to meet the notorious Witcher Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your feast mates and learn me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand. Blue Boy Lucas, Madman Lucas' firstborn, and choking down a stockfish over there is Otric on Hindar. 
Nice to meet you all, I suppose. Okay. And what's your name? Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> we know it's Ceres. Seems they sell us with the sons of Jarls exclusively. Ceres on Crate is the daughter of a Jarl, Geralt. Jarl's daughters are in no way inferior to their sons. Do you know every last one of them dreams of being Bran's successor? Look at him. Likely lot. Ceres is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feet are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to her about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now that you mention him, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you're in. If the Witcher's in. Of Scary. course we're in. Sure. Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! So time for a little Skellige foot race. We're here. From this spot you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first wins. I'm ready. Ah, we are as well. You'll start when I sound the horn. Bring it on. Can we put some coin on it, Lugos? There we go. Okay. That was uh, not a big problem, was it? I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Fuck! I almost died. My climbing animation is apparently a bit shorter than hers. So that's not really fair, is it? I almost died from dropping down there. Oh, and Geralt is so cumbersome to control. It's like steering a fucking ox. I don't think this will be a problem. I don't know what you guys think, but I think we won. I won, but only by a hair. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. Oh, come on, Ceres. We best go back to the week. Let's. At least she didn't See almost die from swing. falling. Lost sight of you. Who won? I lost. But lost to a witcher, Sparrowhawk. It likely happened to any of us. Enough of the nather and let's drink. Um, not me. Can't today, for good reason, believe me. But if not today, then when? You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. I think Yennefer approves. Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. Well, that sounded uh, interesting. I'm gonna start eating because kind of almost died back there. Why would I? I think the extra vitality from my mutagen actually saved my life. Few dried fish further, and I'll probably be fine. 
Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Jarl Donar and Hinder, and Jarl Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen? He's a common goat fucker. Call okay, me a goat fucker then. one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha ha ha! Giving me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Okay then. Um. Maybe you guys should take that outside. Settle this outside. Who the fuck are you to advise me, eh? Someone with better manners. You insult Bran's memory and Crack's hospitality with this. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the black ones. And they Raiding forgot their own quarrel. Is one thing. Total war with the Empire is another. Awfully mouthy, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. Ooh. Let's calm down. Calm down, Lugos. No one should teach me how to fight. That was not my intention. Come, Geralt. I believe this discussion's run its course. Yeah, you don't want to anger Yennefer before she turns you into a frog or something. More dried fish. What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been. Ooh, breaking and entering. Okay then. Um, let's go then. Take it Ermion won't be there. That's right. And what's the purpose of this visit? We're looking for an object. The Mask of Urboros. We'll need it. Urboros. Come, Geralt. Urboros. Come, Geralt. Now tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it, you'll decide when. Correct. <laughs> well, isn't that lovely? Uh, I'm gonna loot a bit, cause... Dumplings! Dumplings! So we're gonna break into the head of the druid circle. Which doesn't sound like a great idea to me. Okay, let's move on. And more looting to be done. So we're gonna break in with the, in the into the Druid's laboratory, and we don't really know why. Because of course, Jennifer doesn't want to tell us. As usual, it seems, because well, it's kind of been like this all the time. And there's a lot of stuff in here. A lot of booze. Then we should be quiet now, shouldn't we? Shh! Guards! Hide behind the tapestry. Behind the tapestry? Sparrows chip, while starlings chirp. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws call. That's an interesting Warfare, conversation. Warble and creams <laughs> creep, whereas peacocks screech. Hawks scream, larks trill, and doves, they coo. That's all of them. Hmm. What about nightingales? All ah, right, nightingales croon. I thought they sang, but I must be wrong. Why are you brushing off your breasts? What were you guys doing back there? Nothing, apparently. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> okay, maybe I should step out of the room for a second and let you guys do whatever it is you want to do, because I feel like I'm intruding, and I'm playing the game. This'll be tough to open. 
It's a door. Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Ermian spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic aura. Ooh, Come. mysterious. There's a this window. We must pass along it. Okay, now. Now we're starting... This is not the Witcher anymore. We're starting to do... Uh, Sam Fisher, Splinter Cell. Oh, there's the window. Okay. That just opens like that. Sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia, being romantic. What the? Okay, then. Can you teleport me over there? Or is that too much to ask? Never mind. So, on the side of the door. And just a mu as much booze on this side of the door, apparently. Thank you, Yennefer. This looks amazing. How a hobby can render a man mysterious, fascinating. Especially a druid. Must be a real nature lover. I'm gonna save since I know what's coming. Explore the mysterious room using your Witcher senses. There. Had one at Care Morin. <laughs> Please. So there's bears, wolves, and deer. And there's this door. Ah. Are you all right? Cut myself. The door is locked. The and animals. then we're going They're cuckoo. Again, watch out. Monsters. Feel them. They're everywhere. So as you can see, my shield doesn't really go away that fast. And my health doesn't go down as easily as it's supposed to be as well. So uh, kind of an indication is along with the uh, fancy color around here that all this is not real. So let's take care of the bears. Not well, the fake bears, but... And then the last one, probably. Doesn't really matter. Because as you can see... Right now, he's starting to wobble a bit. And we'll start to realize that all of this is a dream. Well, hallucination more. You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermian's animals, sword flailing. I had to calm you. Okay. <laughs> we never mentioned this again. Uh, must have looked strange. Your years of vigorous training at Care Morn finally paid off. Bested nearly all the stuffed beasts in here. Please. Well, thank you, Yennefer. <laughs> Fine. We've passed the trial of taxidermy. The door stands open. Well, I've never seen her so funny. Let's so, go inside, Geralt. Let's open the door. Kind of opened on its own. More books. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. You could have just oh. closed the door. Our dear druid's laboratory. We must search it thoroughly. The Mask of Erberos must be here. Okay, so let's start with this. Ermion's correspondence. One letter bearing Ermion's seal to the druids warns them about you, that brazen manipulator. <laughs> the shameless schemer. 
Br Brother Druids, be forewarned that a sorceress has arrived on Arts Kallig. Her name is Yennefer and she hails from Vangerberg. I know you are immune to feminine wiles and will not let a well-draped skirt muddle your reasoning. Nevertheless, I warn you not to be taken in by her intelligence and refinement. I know who Yennefer is. I do not, however, know the true goal of her stay in Skellige. I see no point in asking her this question directly, for Yennefer is known for her cunning and eloquence. She says not what she thinks, but what she wishes you to hear. You must remember this is no second-rate sorceress. This is a person who breaks bread with the rulers of the north, and who most recently has been working with the Nilfgaardian Emperor himself. Familiar with courts the world over, she possesses an ability to manipulate that even the wildest diplomat would envy. Yennefer has displayed an unhealthy interest in the sight of the cataclysm we are striving to study. I have not given her permission to go near it, but I caution you to keep your eyes and ears open and all, all the same. The sorceress from Vangerberg is a stubborn and effective manipulator. I know that in the past her and Krach's spot, spots crossed. I suspect that she will wish to use his old friendship for some ulterior purpose. What that is exactly, I will try to determine. Once I do, I will inform you in a separate letter. May the power be with you, brothers. Ermion. So, he clearly doesn't trust Yennefer at all. There's another book here. Tales of the Wild Hunt. Skelliger's Tales about the Wild Hunt. The islanders believe the wraiths sail on a longship built of the claws of dead men. This is something else. Pinecone. Didn't expect this. A large female. Okay then. And then we have this. Hermion's wand. He's one of the few druids to use one. Interesting. Um, there's a skull here. A child's skull. Okay. A sword in a stone. Things begging me to pull it out. Well, Excalibur reference, Not hooray! Stone, don't you see? It's held there by a vice. Is it? I don't really see the vice, but it's a funny way of putting that in there. Ooh, look, the tinker. <laughs> okay, Looks then. like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. Um, try the skull. So, statue, how about a skull? Uh, mm, guess you're no indecisive prince. Maybe the cone, then? What do you say we give it a pine cone? Uh, nothing again. Hmm, nothing. So that's clearly not the key to this thing. Need something else. Gotta look around. Hmm. Look at this. A detailed map of the Northern Kingdoms. Even shows spheres of influence over the ages. Out of date. Yeah, probably because of Nilfgaard, but... Kind of a sad way to say that. A goat carved out of Lindenwood, signed to Uncle Ermion. Little Ciri's handiwork. That's what she called him when he was her tutor. Hmm, interesting. Some more backstory with Siri. Laboratory worthy of an Imperial Alchemist. What else do we have? There's a goblet over here. Dwarven Triple Mead. The Corpse of Novigrad. It was in for light reading, too. The Corpse of Novigrad by Sasha Hardy. Okay, then. All oh, very interesting, but. I'm gonna suppose that the the goblet works. Let's try again. How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. There we go. Huh. Seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? Ermion enjoys jests achieved at the expense of others. I have a sneaking suspicion the mask will be in here. I also have the sneaking suspicion that there's another golem in here. Oh, gold. That thing over there is actually a uh, earth elemental, if I'm not mistaken. This is it. 
Yeah, but there's something guarding it. That's a big mosque. We've got it. We must return to the feast quickly before. Seriously? I saw that thing move from a mile away. Okay. Okay, Ra. So, probably gonna use elemental oil for this. Elemental oil, there we go. Not using my uh, my gear right now, so uh, I'm gonna add to Yennefer's arsenal. Let's place another one. And there it goes. Interesting. Hear that? Smelled it. Gas. Great still closed. Gotta think of something quick. Um, um. Is there another way out of here? The damn druid will poison us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something. Quickly. First thing to come to your mind. Uh. Okay. Hold on tight. 